one of the keyest failures though of our our administration and our our government's policies when it comes to the war on drugs is that the war on drugs and its strategy was all conceived of you know in the beginning and the earliest days and largely has not been updated at all ever since we have this idea that if you just arrest the kingpin that you're going to win you know and that's going to be what you have to do is that you have to cut off the head of uh, the, you know the 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 cartels well we arrested el chapo we got the heads of the the sinaloa cartel they're thriving that is because this organization has evolved to be able to survive without its head it has become decentralized enough that it can respond rapidly to a leadership crisis and somebody else can resume the helm whenever the head is basically captured we are dealing with decentral we're dealing with decentralized gangs at this point that have no real leader that's intended as a long-term head of the organization leaderless resistance is what you're up against anybody that's read what the government's nightmare scenario is knows this is exactly what they're terrified of that they're but it's it's apparently what works